Hello students, in this video lecture we are going to discuss meat of related elements in a lattice. So the result in this regard that we are going to discuss uh, is, uh, is a result involving uh, related elements in a lattice and uh, the result tries to find out what is the meat of uh, related elements in a lattice. So the result goes like this, let L be a lattice, suppose we are in a lattice and uh, x and y are any two elements belonging to L. So let L be a lattice. Then for x and y belonging to L, if x is related to y or x is less than equal to y, then this implies that the meat of x and y is x, which is the element on the left. And also the converse is true, which means that if the meat of x and y is x, then this implies that x is related to y or x is less than equal to y. So this is the result uh, which... Uh, uh, tells us that if two elements are uh, related then their meat is the element on the left and if the meat of two elements x and y is x then x and y are related like this that is x is less than equal to y. So both the ways the result is true so which means that this result actually gives a two-way implication if this uh, the condition on the left hand side is true then we get the condition on the right hand side and if the condition on the right hand side is true then we get the condition on the left hand side so it, it's a both way implication which means that actually these two uh, statements the statement on the left and the statement on the right these two statements are equivalent statements if one is given then the uh, if any one of the two is given then the other one will also be true. So uh, now let me just prove this um, uh, two-way implication uh, by uh, so there are actually two parts in this uh, uh, result uh, two parts in the proof of this result. In the first part we assume that x is related to y or x is less than equal to y and we try to show that the meat of x and y is the element on the left which is x. So let me firstly suppose the first part of the theorem. So let me suppose that x is related to y or x is less than equal to y. I have marked this statement as one. Now already we know that x is related to itself or x is less than equal to x. Why? The reason for this is because we are in a lattice, L is a lattice and a lattice is a PO set and in a PO set reflexivity holds or reflexive uh, relation holds uh, which means that in a PO set every element is related to itself. So because L is a lattice and therefore a PO set therefore reflexivity holds in L and therefore every element of L is related to itself in particular x is also related to itself which means x is less than equal to x. So this fact I have marked as two. So there are two things that I have. I have that x is less than equal to y and x is less than equal to x so given by 1 and 2 so if we take a look at this x which is lying on the left then uh, this x is less than equal to both x and y so in this x is is in a way acting like a lower bound for x and y so uh, so because x is acting as a lower bound for x and y so uh, this x we can say belongs to the set of all lower bounds of x and y and the set of all lower bounds of x and y is denoted like this that is we put x and y in curly bracket and write L as a superscript. So this is the set of all lower bounds of x and y and because x is a lower bound of x and y therefore x belongs to this set. This fact has been marked as 3. So this is one uh, fact that I have that x is a lower bound. Now take uh, z belonging to L to be any lower bound of x and y. I just want to find out how the three elements that is the element x, the element y and the, z, the element z are placed uh, given the fact that z is a lower bound. We are taking z as a lower bound. Now already it is given to us that x is less than equal to y. This is something which we have taken in the beginning here x is less than equal to y and uh, z I am saying is a lower bound of both x and y which, which means that z has to be lesser or smaller than both x and y. So the only way uh, z x and y can be ordered is like this which means that z will be, will be on the left of x and y. So uh, z is basically here on the left of x or you can say that x is on the right of uh, z. So in a way in a layman's language you can say that x is greater than z. And z is any lower bound of x and y and x has come out to be greater than z, z and x itself is a lower bound. So what does this, 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 this fact tell me? This fact tells me that x is, is that lower bound of x and y which is greater than any other lower bound of x and y because z belonging to L was any lower bound of x and y, arbitrary lower bound of x and y. And x has come out to be greater than equal to z. So we can say that x is that lower bound of x and y which is greater than equal to any lower bound 
of x and y and this fact i have marked as 4 so this means that x uh, because x is a lower bound and it is greater than any other lower bound of x and y so you can say that x is the greatest lower bound of x and y so i have written in short glb the greatest lower bound of x and y so x is the greatest lower bound of x and y or in other words greatest lower bound means the infimum of x and y and the infimum of uh, x and y is represented by x meet y so we, we have got that x comes out to be the meet of x and y so this is the fact that we have got that x meet y is equal to x so we started with this fact we started with statement 1 which is x less than equal to y and we have reached this point that x meet y is equal to x so this is the this is what we have obtained uh, and we have marked this as star so x less than equal to y implies x meet y is equal to the element on the left which is x so one way implication we have shown and now let me show the other way implication which means that if x meet y is x I have to show that x is less than equal to y or x is related to y. So the converse part, the second part of this result. So let me suppose that x meet y is equal to x and uh, uh, which, which actually means that because this is x meet y is another notation for taking the, this is another way of uh, saying that we are taking the great, greatest lower bound of x and y or we are uh, taking the infimum of x and y. So uh, this, this expression is given to be equal to x which means that x is actually the greatest lower bound of x and y because meet stands for the greatest lower bound of x and y or x is the infimum of x and y. So uh, this, this is one thing that we have and uh, because x is the uh, greatest lower bound so in any case x is the lower bound of x and y we just need this part so because x is the greatest lower bound so, so therefore definitely it's a lower bound of x and y which means that x is smaller than both x and y in particular x is less than equal to y so i'm taking this fact and this is what i wanted uh, this this when this statement is given to me i wanted to show that x and y are related and they have come out to be related. So we started with a statement like this that x meet y is equal to x and we have got x less than equal to y. So this is the converse part of the result which I have marked as star dash and this uh, first part first implication that we got i marked as star so both star and star dash when you combine you get a double implication which means that if this statement is given that x and y are related then x meet y will be equal to x this way implication is true and if this statement is given that x meet y is equal to x then x is related to y so this is the uh, result uh, that uh, we were trying to show that whenever two elements x and y are related in a lattice and if you take their meet then the meet comes out to be the element on the left so this is a trivial uh, result that we have but it is used very frequently in other results uh, now illustrating this whole uh, trivial fact this trivial result that we which we have just proved uh, by using a few examples so what i do is uh, i consider a chain uh, three uh, the chain having three elements uh, this is the chain three and i'm uh, let, so we denoted by l and this chain we know is a lattice because in my earlier video also i have uh, um, i have already emphasized this fact that uh, a chain uh, is that uh, po set in which uh, if you pick up any pair of elements because all the elements are related to each other in a, a chain so uh, if you pick up any pair of elements we know they will be related and when you uh, calculate their supremum or infimum that will always exist finding out the supremum of uh, two elements means that we want to find out the least upper bound or the join and uh, finding out the infimum of two elements uh, elements means that we are uh, trying to find out the greatest lower bound or the join uh, or the meet so when you pick up any two elements in any chain not necessarily chain of three elements but a chain of any number of elements if you pick up any pair of elements we know they will be related and so you will always be able to find their join which is the least upper bound and you will be able to find their meet which is the greatest lower bound so i'm taking a chain of three elements over here and i'm marking the three elements as x y z and uh, uh, we can see that if we just uh, just uh, uh, randomly pick up any pair of elements let's say i'm comparing x and y if i compare x and y i know that uh, x is related to y we are in a chain and x is less than equal to y and if we find out the meet of x and y finding out the meet of x and y means finding out the greatest lower bound of x and y there is only one lower bound of x and y which is x so this uh, because there is only one lower bound so this is the greatest lower bound so 
uh, greatest lower bound means that this is the meet of x and y. So, x meet y is equal to x which is the element on the left. So, th the result is verified for this pair. Again, if you consider the pair uh, y and z, if you compare y with z, we know that y is less than equal to z because y is down and z is up. And uh, if you take the meet of y and z, taking the meet of y and z means finding out the greatest lower bound of y and z. If you try to find out the lower bound of y and z, then y is one lower bound of y and z and x is another lower bound of y and z. But out of the out of the two lower bounds, which one is greater? y is greater because y is at the top of uh, y is above x. So y is greater than x. So uh, and this is the these are the only two lower bounds of uh, y and z. So uh, because y is a lower bound and because y is the greatest of all lower bounds of y and z. So y meet z is y. So this is the greatest lower bound of y and z or the meet of y and z. So y meet z is equal to y which is the element on the left which is what we were saying in the result. And again if you compare x with z we know x is less than equal to z. And because x is uh, down and z is uh, above uh, x and uh, if you try to find out the meet of x and z then uh, meet of x and z means that I want to find out the greatest lower bound of x and z. Now there is only one lower bound of x and z which is x. So x happens to be the greatest lower bound also because there is only one lower bound of x and z which means that x meet z is equal to x which is the element on the left. So uh, likewise you can pick up any chain having any number of elements and uh, pick up any pair of elements in that chain and you can verify that this particular result is always going to be true which means that if two elements are related then uh, their meet is always going to be the element on the left and in a chain every two, every pair of elements is related so you'll always be able to find the meet and the meet will always be the element on the left. Now uh, coming to another uh, example uh, which is that of m3 and m3 uh, I have taken up in my earlier video this is one linear sum three bar linear sum one uh, this m3 is also called diamond lattice because the hash diagram of m3 is like this which uh, looks like a diamond and uh, here uh, this one is because of this this because of this one you have this bottom element then three bar means chain of anti chain of three elements so these are the three elements in the uh, central anti chain and this one is over here and then because there is a linear sum between one and three bar so you have three lines and now because there is a linear sum between three bar and one so between these three elements and the top element there is there are again three lines this is the bottom element so we are denoting it by inverted t and this is the top element so we are denoting it by capital t and uh, we can see that this uh, inverted t uh, if you compare inverted t with this this inverted t or bottom element you can say if you compare this bottom element with x i know that this bottom element is less than equal to x because this is down this is up and if you take their meet then the uh, the lower bound of these two elements is this only and so the meet is going to be this so which is the element on the left which is what we were saying in the theorem we, which we just proved again if you compare y with the the top element then uh, the lower bound of y and the top element this is one lower bound of y and the top element and this is another lower bound of y and the top element but out of the two lower bounds which one is greater y so this means that y meet t will be the greatest lower bound which is y which is the element on the left and again if you compare this bottom element with the top element then we know that bottom element is less than equal to the top element and if you take their meet then the lower bound of these two elements is this only so this because this is the only lower bound of these two these two elements so this is the greatest lower bound also which means that bottom element meet top element is bottom element which is the element on the left so likewise we can consider any uh, lattice and uh, pick up any lattice there are so many examples of lattices and then pick up pair of elements which are related and we can always verify that if there are two elements uh, x and y which are related which are related uh, in a lattice then their meet will always be the element on the left. So that was all about meet of related elements in a lattice.